You are a sleeping God when you don't talk. Only if you can sit down and capture your soul and say, hey, come back here. Stay here. Stay. Why are you going? Why, why are you jumping up and down? Because the soul of a man, he jumps here and here and here. You capture it and put it here. Say, stay here. This is how I want you to reason now. Can you be consistent that money is coming for even one week and see whether the money will not come? Can you be consistent that money is coming for one month and see whether it will not change? Just be consistent. Don't be here and there. A double-minded man. He's unstable. He's unstable. Consistency. He's telling you, how can a man turn his spirit against the Lord? He said there is only one way when you speak such words from that your mouth. He said the spirit of God will turn. When he said, I will take you from the backside and confound all the mighty in your clan and they will know that I, even I, did it. Then you are doubting. You think he's going to be clapping hands for you? The Bible says, how do you know that your strength is gone? He said, one small problem just come now, you cannot laugh again. One small problem just happen now, you think. So what, how do you think we do it? We, they are, they are feasting, everybody is feasting from us. How do you think we do it? Our mind, we keep it at peace. That's what the Bible says. Yes, that if I speak the word, there will be a problem. There will be a problem there. If I speak the word, there will be a solution there. Of that same scripture, Job chapter 15 verse 13. Look at what he says there. He shall not depart out of darkness. The flame shall dry up his branches. And by the breath of his mouth shall he go away. The Bible says you will not depart from darkness. Why? He said your mouth. He said the branches, that is your, your, the things that you have, they dry up. Your properties will begin to dry up. Your investment will begin to dry up. Why? He said your mouth, your mouth, the breath that comes from your mouth. Nine they make and dry. Look at what he says. He said, when they came against me and they mocked me and they wanted to finish me, it was through their mouth. Job chapter 16, verse 10. This was the one that the devil and God, they, they had the bet over. He's telling you how he survived. They have gamed upon me with what? With their mouth. They, gave, they came upon me with their mouth. They have smitten me upon their cheek reproachfully. They have gathered themselves against me. How did they do it? How did they gather themselves against me? By their mouth. Some people, God is partial to some people. This is why it's partial. One of the reasons are consistent. Now, he, he said, but we started together. Is this one better than me? He was better in his following. The Bible said my ways are unequal because your ways are unequal. He said I'm not a partial God. He says because your ways are not equal. That is why my ways with you people too are not equal. When you were sleeping, this one was talking. For three months, I didn't answer him. He kept talking. For one year, I didn't answer him. He was still talking. You were sleeping. You talk one time over two hours and you go and sleep. Another time, when something don't hit you again, you go and talk. Then you want God's blessings over your life to be consistent. That's why I asked you the last time you ate, where was it? Was it this morning? If it was this morning, did you talk this morning? The last time you ate, was it this afternoon? Did you talk this afternoon? I talk every time. I sit down, I release something. Echoloria. I sit down, I think of another thing. When I think, I enter the realms. By thought, being consistent. Say, hmm. They never know me yet. There is something that I'm cooking. They don't even know. Now I will shock this world. I'm going to shock this world. They don't know me. They don't know me. They've not seen my kind before. I have God's own. There is another part of God that only me can contribute in this thing called Christendom. And God was here. And I did not know. Because how did you not know your mind? You thought in your mind how you should come. Job chapter 23 and verse 4. I will order my course before him. How? And fill my mouth with arguments. Oh God! You will do it. Mele, who came Where should I go? 
Eh? Was I not there before you called me? Yes, sir. You want to leave me now in the, in, the, in the middle of the sea? You can't go nowhere. You are in me, I'm in you. There's nothing. You cannot forsake me, I can't forsake you. You loved me first before I ever had the conception or inception to even love you. You knew that I was full of rubbish. You chose me. You knew that I had little faith, but you chose me. Were you not the one who called me? Prove yourself now. That was why Moses said, show me another sign that I'm, it is you that is talking to me. Show me. Fill your mouth with arguments. That's what Job said. He said, when I came and I said, there was no hair for me. I presented my cause before Yahweh. I filled it with arguments. Hey God, my wife said I should curse you. I didn't curse you. Hey God, they said they were going to introduce me to something. And I refused it. Because I have something better. Hey God, you know because I'm serving you and because I bear the name Christian. Or because I say I, 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 I exist. You. That is why the people around me are beefing me. And that is why every movement, they want me to make mistakes. So that they can catch me in my mistake. But you know Lalabalia, the Bible said, and the evil, the ending, they imagine a vain thing. And he that sits in the heaven shall laugh. We are seated in heaven together. So when some people are doing some things and say, I will eat my money. I will give him again. I will not do that again. You know what you do? You laugh. <laughs> <laughs> they say they will not open that door again. No problem. Laposi, you are just one out of 7.8 billion. What are you talking about? Sakole Manuna. Mandusha Kaba. A God that does not know is a God. It's like a beast in the forest that perishes. 